please do yourself a favor and know what the fuck you're talking about when it comes to residual income. What is up, my friend? DK here. Welcome to the channel. In this point blank video, we're going to talk about the differences between affiliate marketing, master resale right courses, and network marketing. There's a lot of crap that's being thrown out there on social media where people are saying that you can earn residual income, meaning income that comes in whether you work or not selling master resale right courses and even affiliate marketing. Now, understand the difference. Take a look at your screen there. Over on the left hand side, you have master resale right courses, and it's very, very similar to affiliate marketing. In this example, let's say that both of these products cost $100 either in master resale right courses or network marketing. If you have someone named Beth and Beth buys your course, you could earn a commission from selling that course for $100, of course. Now, Beth goes out and gets the master resale rights because she also likes the course and wants to sell it and make money. Cool. Maybe Beth learned from you where you said, oh, I'm making residual income. And Beth was like, oh, that sounds like a really great idea. I want to do that too. And then you realize that Beth gets the master resale rights. She turns around and sells her course to Mike. Beth makes a little bit of money, but how much money do you make? You make zero dollars because there's no leverage in selling courses, also known as there's no residual income there, meaning if you stopped promoting your course and others started promoting that same course, you would not earn any money because there's no leverage, there's no depth, and there's no actual compensation plan tied to the master resale rights of your course. And if there is, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of multi-level marketing. Now, let's say in this example, Mike loves the course, turns around, has a really big network, and he sells that course to 1,000 people. How much money do you make off of those 1,000 sales? You make zero dollars. Again, because there is no leverage, there's no compensation plan tied to master resale rights. So anyone that's out there on TikTok, on Facebook, here on YouTube, telling you that you can make residual income, which is again, income that comes in whether you work or not, it simply is not true. Now there is a difference between passive earning and active earning. So here's the difference, please understand this. If you are actively creating content every single day, like you're seeing me here creating this piece of content, if that leads to a sale or if your content leads to a sale, that is called active earning. That is not passive earning. It means you are actively creating content to try and sell a course or try and earn a commission. That is called active earning. So in other words, if you stopped creating content, would the income continue to come in? Yeah, you might get a sale here and there, but that would not be considered passive income. Passive income is what happens when you can literally take your foot off the gas and your team, as an example, over on the right hand side of your screen, if you had other people working for you on your team, Beth, Mike, and thousands of people, and that those commissions continued to come in, whether you worked or not, now that is called passive income because you are not actively working and seeking out those commissions. You do not have to continuously create content to actively earn commissions. I hope you understand the difference now. So please understand the facts and the data here and know the difference between active earning and passive earning and understand what residual income actually is. Residual income is income that comes in whether you work or not. And when you're selling master resale right courses, the second you stop promoting that content, the second you stop promoting that course, the income falls off. It's the same concept in affiliate marketing. Yes, there might be some residuals that occasionally come in, but once you stop promoting, that income will continue to go down. The difference between that and network marketing is you could stop promoting in network marketing. However, you could have people in your downline that go big and go crazy and blow up and bring in thousands of people into your organization that could continue to give you commissions month over month, hence being residual passive income. And that income could even grow depending on the people in your team. So for me, that is why I choose network marketing versus affiliate marketing or selling courses because of the leverage and the income opportunities it has provided to me over the years. Now, the reality is like anything, whether it's selling courses, affiliate marketing or network marketing, it takes hard work and consistency 
just because it is network marketing or multi-level marketing or anything that you do online does not make it a get rich overnight sort of thing. You got to go to work, my friend. But if you want to see how I make the money that I do and the teams that I build, link in the description down below or I'll leave an end card here at the end of this video. But please understand and know the difference before you start talking about passive or residual income. Know what it actually is. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and drop me a text or leave a comment down below. I appreciate you, my friend. If you made it to this point in the video, please do me a favor. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Also, ring the bell, get notified anytime I upload new content here to the channel, which is almost every single day. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you on the next one.